Hi, Jen from the Farms and Recreation Department here, bringing you your Friday Science. So, my older daughter is helping me out today, and my younger daughter is in charge of the camera. Let's hope this goes well. Ask your parents or guardians if you can volunteer, and then come do our sink or float project with us. So, here we go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna see what of these objects either sink or float. And Carrie will put a check, so if it floats, we'll have a smiley face. And if it sinks, we'll have a frown, because it didn't stay floating. Now, if something sinks, to sink literally just means that it goes under the surface. To float is to rest on the water. Now, here's the thing. If it is a more dense object, then it's going to sink. If it's a less dense object, then it's going to float. So something with a higher density tends something with a higher density tends to sink down. Okay, a higher density means that it has more molecules, so it's heavier, and the molecules are all pushed together. If it is less density, the molecules has a lot of air around them, which gives them that air so that they float more. You guys ready to try it out? Yeah. All right. So. What do we think, what do we have first? We have the penny. Do we think this will sink or float? What do you guys think? I think it's gonna float. I mean sink. You think it's gonna sink? Let's see. All right, put it in gentle. Definitely sink right to the bottom. Okay. And next is the pencil. Sink or float? It's float. wooden, it might float. Ooh, let's see if it's more, de oh, definitely floating. All right, what do you think about a rubber band, everybody? Float. Float, okay, go ahead and you wanna try to put that one in? Oh, that floating? that's floating, that's still floating. Okay, how about, what's next? Oh, the nail. Hmm. So we have a small little penny inch nail. It's not very big. What do you guys think, sink or float? Sink. Sink? All right, let's see. Definite yes. thing. Good job. Okay, next we have an orange. Um, I think this is gonna float. Oh, it's, oh, it's oh, floating. Floating. You want to zoom right down underneath there, so you can see the orange is actually floating, and that is pretty cool. It was supposed to, so that's awesome. All right, what's next? The ruler, now the ruler's plastic. What do you guys think, sink or float? Float. You think float? Okay, I'm gonna slide our pencil over a little bit here. It's floating. Nice job. So now we have a plastic button, Carrie. Do you think it's gonna sink or float? Sink. Sink, okay, let's see. And it definitely sunk. So that means the plastic that's in that button is more dense than the plastic in this ruler. And lastly, we have an eraser. Do you want the unicorn or the strawberry? I think we should go with the strawberry. Strawberry, okay. Sink or float, what do we think, everybody? Sink. Sink, it's pretty heavy. Feels pretty dense. Oh, and you were correct, mark that down. So as you can see, things that are less dense will Stay floating. Things that are more dense will sink. So here's our board to check it out and just see what we did. Make sure that you guys try this at home and you can even create your own board and your own objects and your own stuff and try your own thing. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. Um, thank you for working with my videographer today and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!